My name is Rachel Ramillion, and I am a senior at Lincoln North Star High School. And this is for my mom. I'm scared. Maybe that's hard for me to say or hard for you to hear, but I've never had the courage to say it out loud until now. I've never been able to admit that every time I walk out the door, I'm afraid I forgot to hug you. I'm afraid maybe I forgot to kiss your forehead. I'm afraid maybe I didn't say I love you loud enough. I'm afraid to leave you. I'm afraid that I'll leave and come back to you and you won't be you anymore. I just forgot the whole poem. Oh my God. to lose you. I'm afraid that I'll leave and come back to you and you won't be you anymore. You'll be the broken parts of yourself that you've hidden away for safekeeping. You'll be the woman who lets her sickness take over her life, but I only know the woman in hospital beds. Hooked to tangled wires like knotted shoelaces, the woman too weak to get out of bed, but too strong to admit that she's hurting. I see a woman with the will to keep going for the sake of her kids and a misleading hope that maybe one day she'll get better. And maybe you will. Maybe when I leave and come back, you'll bloom from these shallow, murky waters like a lotus flower. And the thing about lotus flowers is that they retreat into the water at the hours of darkness. They rise from the surface at dawn. Maybe I'm afraid because I don't want to blink and miss the first time I see you stand up from your wheelchair. I don't want to miss the doctor's say it's impossible moment when the stairs are no longer an unclimbable mountain and the stairs of others are no longer a feeling of misunderstanding. I don't want to miss the first time I see you run in over 18 years. I want to be running with you. I want you to feel the wind on your back like a hummingbird. Legs too weak so you choose to fly. I want to be there every time your blue eyes shine because they suck the ocean dry. I want to be there when you're smiling even after all this time. I'm afraid to leave and come back. I'm afraid of forgetting the way your hair smells like honey or how the butterfly rashes on your cheeks makes it look like you're always blushing. I'm afraid to leave you. I'm afraid that I'll get lost without you holding my sweaty palms. I'm afraid of being on my own and not knowing if I'm making the right decisions. What if I forget how to love myself the way you taught me? What if the monsters in my head start to speak louder than your voice telling me I'm worth it? What if I need you? You always told me to follow my dreams and never let anything get in the way. But what if the thing that's holding me back is the only thing that keeps me going? Your home-cooked meals, lifetime movie marathons, and crocheted blankets keep me going. I'll keep coming back to you. And when I do, I want you to be that hummingbird. Because the thing about hummingbirds is that when they are scared, they hide their colors, swap out radiant blues and purples for something more humble. I'm the only one that knows that when the ocean leaves your eyes, that the green left behind means life. And the thing about hummingbirds is that they remember every flower they've ever been to. Is their heartbeat 10 times faster than all of ours, making them capable of 10 times more love than everyone else. And you are capable of more than you give yourself credit for. So thank you for teaching me how to love without fear, for taking this house and making it a home, for giving birth to this hummingbird of a human being so that I can always come back home.